Okay, this is tip number five, how to assign categories. So I was in my score sheet here, and you'll notice that in my grade book, I have different colors here for the different assignments. I have blue for some assignments, green for some assignments. If I click over here, I got a red for another assignment, type of assignment. So these are certain categories. And what you wanna do is you click on grading, click on categories, and you're going to see a bunch of categories that have been uh, assigned by default, some by the districts, and you can add some of your own. Right over here in the upper right-hand corner, it says show inactive. That's because I've hidden some of the ones that were put in by the district or by other people. So right here, I put them back so you could see them. These I really don't want to use. And so to get rid of them, all you got to do is take the pencil, click on it, and just check either active or inactive. I checked inactive, hit save, and I did that for all the ones that I did not want, which is pretty much everything that they recommend in here. So I got rid of all of those. Now when I check the show inactive, it disappears and then only the ones that I want are shown. So if I wanna add a category of my own, I go up here to the plus sign, I hit plus, category, and then this is where I can enter the category's name, give it a color, tell it that it's active, and then I put in a brief description. Okay, so let me show you what I've done here on mine right here. I'll hit edit for this one. So this one is green. It's bell work, partner work, or notes. I've decided that they're only gonna be worth 10% of a full grade. So I describe that here. I occasionally give a short assignment in the middle of the week, blah, 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 blah. I explain that it's 10%. And then I tell them where it might also apply here. 10% of an actual grade if they worked with partners in class or 10% if it's a uh, progress report or note that I send home. I make that very clear in here so when they go into PowerSchool and they happen to click on it, they will get this note to reveal just what it's worth. Once I've done that, this is important, if you go up to Assignment Defaults before you say Save, if you go up to assignment defaults, this is where you can tell it, always make it a percent or always make it a whatever point value. It, go, it saves you time when you go to enter in that assignment later. You can always go back and change it, but since we're here, we can go ahead and assign it. Now I go by percent. I've never understood points. So if you're a points person, good for you. Uh, talk to someone else that knows how to work with points. It just doesn't make sense to me. When I see a kid with a 65%, I know what that means. But um, you can play with the points a little later and see what you want to do with that. But I, again, recommend talking to someone that uses points. I use percent. Okay, and then it says publish assignment. I like to have it published on the due date. That way it doesn't put it into PowerSchool before you want it to. You put it on its due date, and then suddenly you don't get this weird assignment that pops into PowerSchool, and then parents call you and wonder, what's this assignment all about? So when I've got all that set up, I hit Save, and I do that for each one of these. For example, this one was a blue. That's my homework or challenge work. I'll let you see what, I wrote, what I've written there. Again, for my default values, I said percent, and you can decide if you want the points. And then let me click on the other one that I created here. This is my test or seek a test. When I click on that, you'll see what I've done there. I make it clear that it's worth 60% of an actual grade. I go to my assignment defaults. Again, I set it up for percent so I never have to do it again. <music>